Right guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a really fun video today of a cheap versus expensive putter test. We did one last year of Betanardi against McGregor and we're back for part two, the 2022 Betanardi Innovi 8.0 against the McGregor putter that's in a package set. This McGregor CG3000 is part of a package set worth 369 pounds. So this putter is probably worth about 30 quid or so, but the Betanardi is worth a lot more. Price for you just here. What are the key differences that you guys will notice if you try these out? I'm gonna try these out in a second, but from a spec point of view, Betanardi, made by Sam Betanardi, is designed for confidence, forgiveness. It's a 303 stainless steel front with a 6061 aluminium back, military grade. A lot of big technology involved in this. Whereas the McGregor CG3000, technology side, not really any at all, but it's a beginner set, so it's made for beginners as well. If we're talking further into the tech, the MOI, the Betanardi putter will have much higher MOI, probably around the 5,000 mark. Whereas the McGregor CG3000, slightly different. But how does that equate to performance? So, although these putters are very different in price, looks-wise, you could argue they are quite similar. Both are mallet putters, but if you take a closer look, you can see that the Betanardi is much higher quality. Whereas when you look down at both of these clubs, I'll be honest, they both are very pleasing clubs to look at. There's absolutely no problem with the McGregor or the Betanardi at all, which is justified the 300 to 350 pound increase based on the look down at address. I don't think so. And that's not the big thing we're talking about here. The big thing we're gonna talk about is actually the feel. And that's, I think, the most important pillar of all of this testing we're gonna to do today, because performance-wise, it's all down to your actual putting stroke. But when we get into the main tech parts of it, the Behat Nardi will save you on your worst putts. That's where the high MOI, the nice feel comes in. So let's just hit two here quickly, and then I'll talk about it in a little bit more detail. One of each. So that one there, I hit really on the heel for the Betanardi, it had good feel to it, but it had good feedback. Whereas if I do this then on the McGregor, which I will say is a lot lighter. I mean, I definitely hit that one on the heel as well, but they both actually perform the same. But the feedback is quite different there. The feedback that I got from the Betanardi was a lot more positive. And that's what we're getting into the feel part of these clubs. Are they gonna roll different? Perhaps, but that's only if you're putting it up on a launch monitor or at a Sam Putt Lab where you can see it. The main thing that you'll notice with a putt that's more expensive from here at Golf Magic is the way it feels. And it's a much more positive feel that you get from an expensive putter. There's so much tech behind it you can say will make you a better putter, but there's actually a lot more to it than that. Because what we've realized is, if you're getting a standard spec putter that's 30 pounds and a standard spec putter that's about 400 pounds, well, neither of them are custom fitted towards you. And the problem with that is that they're both gonna be the same specifications. So if you're hitting one a little bit of a push and the other one a little bit of a push, they're probably gonna to go to about the same results. It's quite difficult to actually say which putter is better because it's very difficult to essentially put these up on a, on a sand putt lap and things like that. And it's all relative to what your stroke's like. But we've been testing out here on the fourth green at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate. And we have found that the Betanardi rolls better. We've been testing it mainly from about six foot putts. And from wherever you hit it across the club face, it seems that it gets a lot truer roll. And as well as that, it feels a lot better. There is a big price difference between these two clubs, a monumental price difference between these two clubs. If you're a casual golfer, you're always gonna to struggle to look at something that's worth four or 500 pounds and justify if this is right for you. And if I was someone who was be playing once, twice a month, not really looking to improve, I'd never really look at a putter that's that expensive because why would you? It's too much. And realistically, a package set from McGregor will do you the job just fine. When you get into the improvement style, when you really want to become a better golfer, that's when you're gonna notice that custom fitting alongside a, a putter that is higher in price will actually improve your game. And if you can see what I said there, it's a two-parter. It's not just getting a better gnarly that's 400 quid or so, it's actually getting a club that's custom fit to your putting stroke. Because trust me, here at Golf Magic, we've seen some god-awful putting strokes, not even your mother would love, and that's mine included. But you can get a putter that's right for that. The one that I've got is this ginormous ugly thing, but it works on my stroke and makes me a better putter. If I were to get a 400 quid putter straight off the rack, well, guys, you know I'm, I'm six foot four, I don't have a good putting stroke. If I got that, I wouldn't putt any better. I may have the honeymoon period that we all have, where we think we're the best putter in the world. We putt better than Steve Stricker, Jordan Spieth. But after a while, the tech side will creep in and it's not right for you. For long putts, I have noticed actually quite a big difference with these. And that's again, probably more on feel. I think once you do hit 
actually a longer stroke. That one feels a little bit tinnier, whereas the way in which Bettinardi have designed this with the two different multi-material construction makes it a really pleasing club to hit wherever across the club face. Does that lead to better results though? I mean, perhaps that one's a little bit long. If I were to hit this one, it may be more sentimental than anything else. If you're looking at parts like that, that was close. If you're looking at parts like that, that was actually closer than the Betanardi, but it wasn't as good roll. So it all comes down to how much you value the game, how much you want to improve. Both of these putters are very good putters. Whatever you purchase, you won't be disappointed. But here at Golf Magic, by the testing that we've done, there are pillars towards the putter and Betanardi, there is a big improvement. The performance is always subjective to your putting stroke, but we noticed that the Betanardi does have a better roll from the entirety of the club face. Whereas if you hit it across the toe, out of the heel and of the middle, it's a very true stroke. The McGregor isn't bad by any means, but because it is a lot cheaper, it's not gonna roll as well. That's a pretty blunt truth. That then leads to the Betanardi having better performance overall, and justifiably so, because it's about 350 pounds more expensive. When you go down to looks, again, it's all personal. Some people could prefer the McGregor, but I do think the Betanardi is higher quality. It looks better. So the majority of people would prefer this putter in my hand right here. Durability as well is one big thing. We have noticed the McGregor CG3000 putter here. It is a really nice matte black finish, but trust me, after a few weeks with no head cover, that's gonna wear off very quickly. One really important thing about higher quality putters is that because they are more expensive, they're durable. They last longer, particularly on that finish. And with this black and silver finish on this Betanardi, with a head cover, it's gonna last a lot longer. Guys, if you are new to Golf Magic, smash that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all of our content. If you want to see any more cheap versus expensive stuff, maybe we play, let's say, a round of golf with a 200 pound set of golf clubs against my 5,000 pound set of golf clubs and see the difference. That will actually be a lot of fun to do. So let me know if you want me to do that and I'll do it in the summer. I think this putter comparison for me has shown that whatever putter I use, I'm pretty dreadful either way. So I'm gonna do some putter practice now with my custom fit putter before my big tournament this weekend. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.